Hi guys, I hope you had a fabulous day today. I thought it would be fun to read a book about a bird, since we're talking about birds all week. This one is called Duck Soup, and it's written by Jackie Urbanovic. And there he is, Duck Soup. Let's see what happens. This was it. A little pepper, some salt, a little parsley and potatoes. <gasps> Soup! This would be Max's mm, masterpiece. Ooh la la! This is going to be grand. There's Max making his wonderful soup. Now, Max had made a lot of soup before. Fish soup with curry and pickled lemon. Who red hot chili soup, squash gumbo, cracker barrel cheese, and marshmallow soup. Way, way, way too many bean soups. He had cooked them all, but every recipe had been created by another chef not Max. He made a lot of soup, but he had not created them himself. Now he was making his very own soup, the soup that he, Maxwell Duck, would be remembered for. Slurp slurp, sip. It smells perfect, but something is just not quite right. Hmm. Max thought it over. A pinch of this, a pinch of that, broccoli, zucchini. Aha! That's it. Chai. needs an herb from the garden. Just wait, my delicate broth. Max will be right back and you will be perfecto in a momento. And smack he went out the door to the garden. And just then, guess what happened? The front door slammed shut as Brody, Dakota, and Bebe walked in. Some of his friends came in the other door. <gasps> Ooh, it smells so good, asked Brody. Max must be cooking again. Oh, but I hope it's better than last time. Hey, Max! Oh, Maxie! Where are you? We're about to eat your soup, said Dakota. They don't know where Max is. So what's wrong, asked Brody. Taste it already, Dakota. And Dakota gasped. I think I know where Max is. I told him, don't ever, ever cook alone. <gasps> Do you think he fell in? Oh no, I'm sure he fell in. Now they're worried. Call for help, said Bebby. Help, help. No, there's no time, said Dakota. Max, Max, grab the spoon. That won't work, said Bebe. He can't hear you. They thought they could put a spoon in there and help him to get out. That's not going to work. I know. Let's
let's get the strainer. The strainer? Yeah, the big bowl with all the little holes in it. Grab it. Brody hoped that the soup would go down the drain and Max would be left behind. They're gonna pour the soup in the strainer and hope that they can find Max. Oh no, I see his head, said Bebe. Silly, that's only a potato, said Brody. Eyeballs, his eyeballs, said Bebe. Guys, it's only onions, said Brody. You see the little onions? They think it's his eyeballs. <gasps> his feet, Dakota said. Calm down, you two. It's only slices of carrots, said Brody. Smack! They all looked up as the front door slammed shut. <gasps> Who could it be? My soup! A little upset. <gasps> Max! Oh, Max! Max, it's you! They're happy to see Max. That night, Max was very quiet over dinner. Cheer up, Max. You're still a great chef, said Irene. And you'll cook your perfect soup someday soon, she added. And it'll be great, said Brody. Really great, said Bebe. Looks like they're all having some pizza for dinner instead of soup. We know you're disappointed, said Irene, but at least you're not duck soup. And they all agreed. And they all agreed, even Max. He was glad he wasn't duck soup. Well, I hope you enjoyed that funny story, thinking that their friend was in the soup. seeing meatballs and onions, thinking it was his eyes, and potatoes, thinking it was his head. That's silly. All right, you guys have a great night. I love you.